Hello guys, this is Vishal. Uh, I'm about to talk about the uh, ARM project, that is Travel Planner. Uh, so why did we choose this project? It's a real world application. You can learn how travel websites work. You can retrieve data for different websites. And accordingly, you can book your flight depending on your price, the travel time, the travel date, and all those things. And the technologies that we have used is Bootstrap, Node.js, Express, JWT for authentication, Bcrypt, Body Parser, Handlebar, that is HBS, MongoDB for our backend uh, database, I'm sorry, it's for our database, and Helio to send SMS to the customer. The issues that we faced while implementing our project, it was, uh, we had an issue with the API. We have used a sky scanner API uh, that provides us the list of the flights for a particular day. And we also have uh, uh, the API that we uh, have. It is showing price only for a minimum one or two flights. That is only showing the minimum price. Okay, So if I'm searching from Delhi to Mumbai for say like the 28th, that is for tomorrow. Uh, and if I have five or six flights flying tomorrow from Delhi to Mumbai, it will only show for price for just one or two flights. So that we, so we had an issue with that. Uh, so we also had an issue with our DB layout. And one issue was capturing data from a radio button dynamically. Another was uh, passing JWT to client system for security. And with an admin page, the FAQ admin page, edit and update. Improvements that we think we can do is uh, sort. We can sort flights according to the price. We can add a cancel option for flights and hotels. Improve the UI. Improve UI. Yes, we can definitely work on that. Now, add a blog section so that uh, customers uh, can write about like if they are going to place or if they visit uh, any hotel and if they like it, they can just write a review or a blog section about that. We can also send customers email or an SMS update about flight and hotel bookings. Uh, our team members, it was Dinesh, Ritwik, Hafizu, and me, and our mentor was uh, Lupin for the project. So this is our landing page, okay? This is where you can search for the flights. Uh, one issue that we had with the API was, the API only works with the IATA code, that is, uh, the IATA code for Delhi is DEL. For Mumbai, it is BO. So we had to map the IATA codes to the so that uh, our uh, so that we get the required results from the API. Now uh, we can select start data. You can select like thirty years. Okay. You can select if you want to do a return journey. You can also select the return data and you get the flights for that. But here I'm just doing a one-way journey. I'm traveling from Delhi to Mumbai. Okay. You can click on search. And it will show you the flights of the airlines that are available from Delhi to Mumbai on that day. Uh, name, the airline name is Indigo Go Air. The price here is not the real price, as I mentioned. Like uh, The API isn't giving us the price for all the airlines. So we have used some, like, uh, we are just passing a dummy price so that we can have price for all the airlines. Uh, the origin city is Delhi, destination city is Mumbai, journey date. Here we have also given an option to log in and to sign up. Sign up, you can click on sign up, you can enter your email address, password, confirm password, account already created, then if, if you already have an account, it will take you to the login page. Yeah, uh, uh, already have a dummy account, so I'll just log into the dummy account and show you. We also have an option for forget passwords. So if anyone forgets the password, they can click on it and they will be able to reset the password. Right now, I'm just logging to a dummy account. Okay, the message it will show is login success. Okay. Okay. So, search. Okay, so once you log into your account, you can go to your profile page. You can go to my account. And this is your account. So if you want to update or make any changes to your profile, you can do it from here. So apply to Kings. So we have just booked some dummy flights and all the 
aspects that we proposed, it will show up here. Okay? So this was just done a few minutes back by media. We're just testing it. And you can see the flight was booked from Delhi to Bangalore. Status is confirmed. The ticket price and the airline. So we can also, okay, we also have something called hotel. Okay? For hotels, we did not get a free API. We uh, searched for a lot for an API. We were not able to get the API that will give us all the required details. So what we have done is we have created a dummy list of uh, hotels for three cities. Put it in our da da database that is MongoDB. Uh, and, it's, uh, and you can see here, uh, you can select the city accordingly and it will show you the hotels. You can You can select that date and you can try to book. Okay, once it, the booking is done, you can go to hotel booking and you can see the confirmed hotel bookings for that day. Holiday, it's like a package thing that we are showing. Okay, uh, it's uh, you can't book here actually, you can just uh, go through some of the packages like where you would like to travel, destination packages. You can send an inquiry and the inquiry will be uh, sent to our. Uh, it will be sent to us, okay? And someone from the admin team is supposed to get in touch with the customer and discuss about the packages and according to customer is a package according to the customer's needs. Uh, we also have a section that is called FAQ. Okay? FAQ is like a list of FAQs that are like frequently asked questions like uh, do I need travel insurance? And how do I organize my visa? If you're traveling overseas, do you provide any? Do we provide any help with visas? All those things. Uh, so admin level. So this is some of the FAQ. And only the admin you would be able to log in, okay? and you can edit or delete an FAQ. These are just dummy logins that we have created up now. Oh, okay, so this is the FAQ section where you can add an FAQ. You can see the FAQ is created. So you can also edit an FAQ, you can delete an FAQ, and once that is done, you can just click on log out and you will be able to log out. This, uh, this section is only for an admin. Only admin can edit, add, or delete an FAQ. So you can then just go back to travel API, you can create a new sign up. So this is all our project. Definitely, we can go ahead and we can go on. Like as I mentioned before, we definitely would like to work on the UI part and improve it. Also, we would like to send an SMS and uh, email updates to the customers, and also add the cancellation option. So thank you. Thank you.